he's missing a shoe and you know he he's been institutionalized and i thought you know like america has been you know what i mean just 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 put put just put the whole country in a padded cell on a 72 hour hold let everybody calm down call it call your mom to come pick you know your government's down here acting crazy again we're gonna need you to come pick it up it, it, so i i thought about that as like as a concept that like it's one thing to just be a liar but it's another thing to be a hypocrite too it's so frustrating to deal with those people it's one thing if it's like like i had a buddy who was friday night we all lived in vegas friday night was like we're going out to a club bottle service chicks all that stuff right now i'm married at the time so i'm not doing any of this stuff but but he would he that was friday night saturday would be recovery day sunday would be church day and in monday i'd get the text from him sort of like a kind of like a lecture like bro when are you gonna make it out to church with me i'm like i i'm not ever going to church with you just so you know, he'd be like, you know, we just need, and then there'd be like a conversation some other time. He'd just be like, man, you just need to let, you know, Jesus into your heart. I was like, here's my problem. Fine. Jesus in my heart. Great. Coke and hookers. Fine too. But, but my problem is you cannot be Coke and hooker guy on Friday and Jesus guy on Sunday and expect me to take you seriously. It's the, the hypocrisy is staggering, Right. You could be either one of them, and uh, and that's fine. But when you try to be both, and it's obvious that you're neither, you just look like a clown. 